are hosting 70 weddings at the Chateau this year. We like to think of the Chateau as an ornate canvas for each couple to personalize for their special day. We get so many creative wedding ideas and themes here at the Chateau, and each one is a special representation of the couple getting married here. Some of them are more classical, some of them are more tendance or à la mode, which means that they're uh, trendy. Um, and other times they, we get Disney weddings and other fun themes. One couple had an Aladdin-themed wedding where they rode in on camelback. Another wedding dressed in Victorian style costumes. Oh, and there was the Gatsby and the Harry Potter themed one. They become such fun experiences for everyone. We even had a Cinderella themed wedding where the bride's dress was like big pumpkin size. And it was so big that she could not fit into the restrooms at the Chateau. So they called us and we were like, yeah, just have her come over to the Hunter's Lodge. And um, to make it a little bit special, we just put some little rose petals to lead the pathway. And it was um, pretty memorable. <laughs> if you were to do a costume themed uh, wedding, what theme do you think you would use? Every wedding feels unique, and we appreciate being able to host a space for such special moments and beautiful memories. Because I introduce every couple to the Chateau, it's really important to me that the Chateau looks its best for their big day. And in June, we had two French-American couples get married here. And that was really exciting because one was from Texas and the other was from New York. So, it's always fun to meet other couples who share a similar dynamic to us. Before those weddings could happen, we had a lot of summer preparation to do around the property. There was a lot of overgrowth around the chateau, which needed to be cut back, both around the entrance and in the prairie behind the chateau. We try to work with locals as much as possible, so we were happy that our neighbor, Yan, could harvest the tall grass for his horses. I was pretty excited to use our new electric chainsaw, which made the job go faster. We have a hot summer ahead of us, so before planting the new flowers, we installed irrigation in the flower beds. Last summer, I hand watered the flower beds, so adding irrigation is a huge time saver moving forward. Clément and Dorthe uh, delivered our flowers from the Pépinerie, that's the flower nursery. We ordered the flowers back in February. Somehow, the seeds that we had ordered uh, all turned out to be yellow flowers. Thankfully, they caught it in time and were able to get us the red Dipsidenia flowers that we had asked for, but it did put us a little further back in our schedule. Luckily, I had a couple of friends from California who were visiting Paris and offered to come over and help us plant the flowers on the bridge. Before we could get started on that, it seemed necessary to pressure wash the bridge. and treat some of the stone on the lower facade of the chateau. The limestone was looking darker than it should, and this treatment would help brighten the stone. Last year we were asked if there were any larger wedding arbors available, because some of the floral decorations are a little heavy. So this season I went online and I found some ideas for a very large wedding arbor. With a few helping hands and a crunch for time, we got to work.
With everything prepared on time, we were able to take a step back and watch the wedding decorations get set up. Both weddings were absolutely gorgeous, and it was such a pleasure to host them at the Chateau. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, then please consider subscribing for more to come.